Hey everyone, and welcome back for another deep dive. You know how we love digging into those thought-provoking ideas, and today we've got a really intriguing one from ancient Chinese philosophy. And it's a concept that really resonates even today, thousands of years later. Right. We're talking about this idea called Wu Yong Er Yang, which basically translates to useless but useful. Catchy, oh, huh? Definitely catchy. Yeah. And it really gets at the heart of how we value things, how we see potential even in the most unexpected places. So for this deep dive, we're turning to the Zhuangzi secret, which delves into this whole philosophy. And I've got to say, it really challenges you to look at the world a bit differently. Have you ever like looked at something most people would just toss out and thought, hmm, there might be something to this? Yeah, it's like that old saying, one man's trash is another man's treasure, right? Mm -hmm. But Zhuangzi takes it a step further. He really wants us to question why we label things as useful or useless in the first place. Swansea was way ahead of his time, huh? I mean, think about it. We live in a world obsessed with practicality. Everything needs to have a purpose, a function. Exactly. And that's kind of what Swansea was pushing back against. He believed that everything has inherent value, even if we don't immediately see a practical use for it. It's almost like he's encouraging us to find beauty in the unexpected, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. And to embrace a more expansive view of what's possible, like the Zwanzi Secret gives that great example of the rusty old bike, right? Mm -hmm. Just sitting there in the garage, covered in dust. Yeah, most people would just see it as, well, junk, ready for the scrap heap. But Zwanzi wants us to pause for a second and look closer. Because that rusty bike, it could be so much more. It can be transformed into a cool piece of art, maybe a sculpture for the garden. Or imagine using it as a teaching tool, letting someone learn how bikes work by taking it apart and putting it back together. It's all about that shift in perspective, right? seeing the potential where others might see only junk. Precisely. And that shift in perspective can unlock incredible creativity and resourcefulness. I'm even thinking about how this applies to experiences, you know? Like maybe you learned a skill that seems kind of random at the time, didn't seem particularly useful. Oh, I love that. You know, like learning to knit or something. You might have thought, when am I ever going to use this? Exactly. But then, years later, that useless skill helps you connect with someone or brings you unexpected joy. You just never know how things will connect down the line. It's all connected, like those intricate gears in a watch. Yeah. And that's something Zhuangzi emphasizes. The interconnectedness of everything. Something seemingly useless can lead to something incredibly valuable or meaningful. It's a really powerful way to look at the world. Like, even that useless rock you find on a hike can become the perfect centerpiece for a garden. Or that failed experiment could spark a groundbreaking discovery. It's about embracing those unexpected turns and seeing the value in what might seem, at first glance, to be useless. It's about keeping an open mind and a sense of wonder, wouldn't you say? Definitely. It's about approaching life with a sense of curiosity and possibility. So listeners, we'd love for you to take this idea and, well, run with it. What useless thing in your own life might hold hidden value if you look at it through this new lens, this idea of Wu Yang or Yang? Yeah. This has been such a fascinating deep dive and I really appreciate your insights. The pleasure was all mine. It's always exciting to explore these timeless concepts. And to our listeners, keep those wheels turning. What if we all challenged ourselves to find the useless but useful in our everyday lives? Could it unlock hidden creativity, help us see challenges in a new light, or even deepen our relationships? Just something to ponder. Until our next deep dive, keep exploring.